Good day all, it's Dai Laughing and welcome back to the next instalment of Pokemon Rejuvenation. Uh, we're experiencing a bit of a heat wave here in Wales at the moment. It's almost unheard of. I'm sitting here chilling with an ice cold can of Strongbull because it's 28 degrees outside. That's unheard of in Wales. And also, it's not raining, which is also pretty unusual. So both those things at the same time, it's just unbearably hot for the likes of me. So I'm sitting inside doing a recording with a can of strikes, can of cider instead. Yum yum. So we're on this um, SS, was it called Paradise? I got through all the horrible little switch puzzle that was here. And obviously we're in this alternate timeline, which the world is pretty shitty. And it seems to be this way because of some decision that we made in the past that's created this timeline. And we apologise for the fuck up. But... There we go. I can't do anything about it now. Uh, I don't know actually how we're going to rectify the situation, but it seems that we've got to confront Valerie, who is the bad guy of this timeline, probably has no knowledge of her other self as being a um, good guy, but who cares? Anyway, so I put together a team thinking that she might still be water type based. I'm not sure. I should put some items on these guys. Hang on, I thought I switched Beacon out. Why is Beacon not... I, th I thought I took Beacon out. Beacon's got to be switched out for... Um... That's not right. Give me a minute. Hi, guys. Right, OK, so I've uh, put the team together. I've gone with... I put Jackie Cham in, as I thought I'd done last time. I've given them a few items. Jackie cham has got wide lens. Citrus Berry on eight. I'm out of here. Air Balloon on Bipolar. Um, Biggles, I can't even remember what Biggles has got, to be honest, doesn't matter. Oh, let's have a look, let's have a look. Wide Lens, Citrus Berry, Air Balloon, Pixie Plate, Earth Plate, Grass Gem. Now, I'm thinking that she might not necessarily be watertight this time. I'm assuming I'm going to be battler. That may not also happen as well, but I've got to gear up just in case. And if she does battlers, which it seems very likely, um... She may not have a water-based team this time, just because she did in the other timeline. Might be completely unrelated. So to that end, I just put a good mix in, but still good against water types, because Jackie Cham has got Thunder Punch. I've got Electric here and Steel. Grass there. Obviously, Chalk Ice is probably not so good. If she does turn out to be water, I'm out of here as part water as well, but has good bug moves. So if there's any grass water types, I'm good there. But I'm also not bad against... You know, a, a mixed team. We'll see what happens. I mean, if you've got like a, a specialised team, then I could be in trouble. I might have to specialise myself to counter it. But we'll go with that. I'll go with Jackie Chan because going with an out and out Pokemon that's good against electric, that's uh, good, good against water is a bit obvious. So I'll go with something that has an electric move instead, but not of a type which you might expect. Anyway, oh, Madam X. Hello, Madam X. So you've decided to follow me after all. We have no choice but to do so. If you know of a way we can get back to our own time, then I'll gladly accept your temporary truce. Hmm. We can discuss a solution later. For now, we have to catch Valerie before she escapes. Why is she escaping? Escape? Why would she try to escape? Where, she could, where could she possibly go? Do we even know that's the case? Let's just call it a hunch. She must have realised she was fighting a losing battle and decided to hit the road. She must have put down, she must be down that ladder. Let's pursue her. Okay, off you go then. Having to team up with Madame X makes me incredibly uncomfortable. That's all right, she's gone on her own. She can seek out the trouble. But it has to be done if we want to make things right. Let's just play along for now. If she makes any weird movements, then we'll jump her. Have you forgotten what Pokemon she's got? If we're together, I feel like we have a chance of taking her down. Uh-uh. No chance. At all. Go on, Minnie. Off you go. So this must be Valerie's control room. Like Captain Kirk on the SS Enterprise. Kind of looks like it. Where did, where did um, Mr. Sulu sit? Over here? Move on. Okay. Ah, roped in. 
going somewhere? Ah, what the? Man, you're all so fast. Don't worry about me. I'm just going to be leaving. Temporarily. Why? You, sh you, you sure you're not getting into that submarine and leaving this place for good? I wonder what your babies would think about that. They would understand, of course. We're losing this fight. So I'm going to get some help. Who's your help, then? It's all very mysterious. I'm still a bit perplexed as to why Madame X got here. And where exactly do you think you're finding help? Do you honestly expect to walk back to Black Steeple to tell your boss that you lost custody of the SS Paradise? So who is Valerie's boss? Has that been said? Not sure. I'm sure that would go so well. Oh, fine. If that's how you're all going to be, then I'll fight too. Yeah, but there's four against one. If I beat you all here, then I don't have to go back to Black Steeple Castle. In fact, I'll be promoted when they find out I've won. I live a lavish lifestyle down at the castle, and I won't have to worry about a thing. So come at me. I've decided this is something I want. Okay. And if I want it, then I'll get it, no matter what the cost. So am I going to be teamed up with Madame X? That'd be cool. Come on, I'm Valerie, you grumpy, grumpy face. Why am I, why am I on my own? That's not fair. Where's Madame X? What's Madame X up to? Um, Zen head back. Oh, ooh, you're quicker. Stop. Whoa, slow, 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 stop, stop, stop. I did a bit. Oh, my God. Well, I got poisoned. Did a lot of damage, though, while well, it's stabbing. And not very strong, it's Jackie. Sigh. I tend to cruel, so it looks like she's largely poison based this time. I don't think you've got a lot could do much to bipolar. Pop maybe, you know, like a big water moon. Like Scald, for example. Oh look, you got the burn, so you've had two haxes and two moves. Poison jab? What's that? Ten percent? And I got burned on that one. Brilliant. Oh, God, drag algae. Um, why does she have to be poison type? Trouble is, she's bloody ruined both of these now, bitch. They're not very, they're not very quick, are they? Would I take it out though? Oh yeah. And I get a moxie, a free moxie, thank you. What else have you got? A Vaporeon, of course. So you are kind of water-based. Bagels, I suppose, is the obvious choice here. It's just waters and poisons. Oh, my! God, you know Ice Beam as well. Shite. <gasps> oh my God, I don't believe it. Are you taking the piss? How can you get three haxes in a row? I think I've got no choice but just pull the store here. Unbelievable bad luck. Look at it. Frozen, poisoned, and burned. Well, about a thousand to one, I reckon, the odds for that lot in a row. You get another one, I'm going to cry. I was going to say, the hands again. That's something dodgy going on there. And I'm going to go for a sucker punch just to finish it off.
Yeah. Small loss. Okay. Um, back to chalk nice, I think. Right, bring in something that's nice for chop nice. Jelly scent. Oh, I said nice. Um, mm, that's tricky. Maybe I'm out of here. Even with a moxie. Is that it? Oh, that was a shitty idea. Uh. I um I do know I'm gonna use another full restore while I'm in on bipolar. And you're gonna to tap to the retreat and I can bring bipolar in. And hopefully finish you off with one discharge. Of course, you have got to be kidding. How can you get so many burns and poisons and everything? Ah, I got one. Right, that's the end of you, pal. Four haxes in one bloody battle. That's ridiculous. Boom! Right, that's your lot. Right, well, not too bad. Two, two blooming potions used. Okay, let me bring it up. That's not bad. Could have been worse. Powerful trainers like you still exist? How? How do you know? Well, that's a good bit of money. With the 666? What? I seriously lost to only one of you? Well, I didn't have a lot of choice but to go for it on my own. What would happen if I'd lost? Would you then carry on to fight the others? Anyway, what would have happened if I decided to fight you all at once, I wonder? I think it might have been worse for you. I do. I think it might have been a lot worse. As if something as trivial as that matters. So, what then, huh? Are you going to kill me like you did my babies? I saw what you did, what you did to all of them. What did we do? We didn't do anything to them. Oh, she killed them with a knife, didn't she? If that's my case, then so be it. I'd rather be with them than any of you in this room. Unfortunately for you, I'm feeling merciful. Why? I see. No, you're too valuable to just to kill off. I need you for something. I knew there had to be an ulterior motive. Oh. Are we not going to find out? So this is what you've all resorted to, huh? Tying up my hands and throwing me into jail. That's how it is. That's how this is now. You've done this to countless people before you. Now you'll be able to experience what they did. At least I allow them to walk about their cell without being tied up. Yeah, maybe, maybe you could untie her. And so that justifies everything? You're absolutely pathetic. Is, that, is Madame X becoming a good guy? Or is it just a temporary lull? I don't have to justify anything. Soon, soon my babies will come to my aid. I don't think they're going to help you much with Madame X around. 
Their undying loyalty to me will motivate them to take down each and every one of you. I'm not so sure about that one, Valerie. What? Why? I told them about how you planned to ditch them all. That undying loyalty you talked about before seems to have died. No one is coming to save you, Valerie. Loyalty is a two-way street. <gasps> dot, dot, dot. You were a fool to have faith in them anyway. Loyalty is nothing but business. It can be bought. Ooh, she's the ultimate gangster. They were only that way because you provided them with a safe haven and because they thought you were strong. But in reality, you were no stronger than all of them combined. The moment someone stronger showed up, they flocked to them. There will always be someone above you and they will eventually take what's, the, what's yours. Wise words, Madam X. And I happened to be that someone. Hey, hey, hang on a minute, Madam X. Who done all the dirty work? It was me, die laughing, not you. Don't take the credit. And I've already taken everything. And now you reap what you sow, Valerie Curse. Ha ha! Sorry. If that's all true then, let me, let me ask you something then, Madam X. If that's all true, and there's someone out there that's above you and waiting to take everything you love, then I just want to ask you something very simple. Who's above you, Madam X? Who is? Who will be the one to take every single thing you love? Who will be the one to knock you down from that pedestal you stand so high on? And to a very simple question, I give you a very simple answer. No one. Oh, she's tough. I rather like Madam X. Oh! Hang on a minute. We have someone going, Gyaa! Or was that Valerie? In frustration. Anyway, Madam X said she would be on the stern of this ship, which is behind us. I'm going to find out what exactly she has planned. Die laughing. Would you join me? I don't exactly feel safe being near her by myself. Yeah, it depends on my guys. How are my guys doing? I've been healed. Whoops. No. Um, I need to find a healing machine. Oh, hang on. So nearly went that way. Huh? Yes, let's heal. Oh, wrong door. Sorry, guys. Right, I think I'll just keep my team as it is. It's still pretty good. I mean, I know I've got two psychic types on the party, but they've got dual types. So it's not so bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm good. Right, um, but do we have to fight Madam X? I hope not. I don't think we would. Would we not this stage of the game? Please. Right, anyway, let's get to the stern, which is behind us. Righty ho, here we go. All healed up. <clears throat> let's have a chat to Madame X, looking across the beautiful red hue. Oh, hang on, hang on. Whoa, I just got thrown backwards. So, you said you'd explain your plan. Now that we're in control of the ship, I want to know what it is. Oh, you're very demanding, isn't she? Before of this, I was in possession of a gem called a Time Diamond. That sounds very nice. Very sexy, I want one of them. It's an item that allows the user to manipulate and travel through time as they see fit. With this, you could rewind, fast forward, or even stop time for a brief moment. Thy Laughing has exper experienced its power in Kugiran City when I used it to save them from Indraid's bomb. I remember that, yes. Okay. You were in the past with us? For what purpose? Ha! Huh. Wouldn't you like to know? Well, yeah. Regardless, this item was destroyed when I tried to revert the mistake you and Die Laughing made by allowing Vivian to live. Well, not really a mistake, though, is it? You know, it's more of a choice. One leads to one eventuality and one leads to another. 
and the severity of this change was too much for the diamond and it shattered. Oops. As it shattered, it sent me to this future with you two. I thought we were all sent here by Spatia and Tiempa. The reason why we were transported to this time was because of you. I sent all of us to this time unintentionally, but don't get things twisted. The moment you all would try to go back to the future with the power of the time splice of stone, you would meet the same fate. If this is all true, then you must have seen what happened to Elita, even even Aaron. I did. It's just as you suspected. She was present in a timeline where she didn't belong, so the universe corrected itself. Why? Why didn't I laughing and I share this fate? So as have Alita and Erin been deleted permanently then? Well, I suppose we can always go back into a time where they exist, so they would only be deleted from that particular timeline, presumably. Why weren't we deleted along with Alita and Erin? It was because you were protected from deletion. The time gear amulets you were given by Spacey and Tiempa acted as your guard against time. Our time gear amulets saved us from being erased from history? Well, yeah, we're not erased from history. You cannot be erased from history. You can only be erased from the present or the future, I suppose. Oh, this is too complicated. Correct. While in possession of this amulet, you are protected from time manipulation. And you are both given an amulet. At such a convenient time. What does that tell you both? I don't know. Specia and Tiempa knew that this was going to happen. That's correct. They damned all of us to this place. Why? They knew exactly what you were going to do. But the fact they gave you that amulet. Even if they gave us these amulets on purpose. What does this have to do with the time diamond? There's one time diamond in the world at each time. When one is destroyed, another will appear at another location. Oh, a bit like Avatar. Remember the cartoon Avatar? Nickelodeon? That was good. Spacey and Tiempa gave you these amulets to protect you from erasure. They wanted you to both live through this hell. That can only mean two things here. One, if you chose incorrectly, they wanted you to live with your decision forever. So they're kind of mean, aren't they? Mean-spirited. Or two, they knew that there would be a way to escape this place once we were sent here. If the latter is correct, then that can only mean that a time diamond is somewhere in this world. So we've got to find it. Considering our limited options in places to visit, I can only assume it's being held by the princess at Black Steeple Castle. If I get my hands on the time diamond, I can rewind time all the way back to before you stop Vivian from sacrificing herself. So this means we have to go back and we have to let her die. And if we are were successful, do you just expect me to let Vivian die? I don't think we have a choice, do we? There's no other choice but to let her do just that. It was her sacrifice that saved the world from beginning becoming what it is right now in this moment. Stop fo focusing on the one and start thinking about the millions of people who died. <gasps> Very well, we'll follow you around for now. But after all this, we're back to being enemies. I don't know, Madam X seems quite, um, quite reasonable. Of course, now that we have that settled, I'm going to put this plan into motion. Meet me at the captain's quarters. And one last thing. When we meet the Princess of Blacksteeple Castle, refrain from getting too close. Uh, why? Has she not had a wash for a while? Avoid physical contact with her at all costs. Uh-oh. Or the results will put us in even more peril than before. What happens if she makes physical contact? I'd rather not discuss... Oh, nobody ever tells you anything. All the consequences of that happening. Well, I'm going to touch you then just to find out. Goodbye. Dot, dot, dot. Even if it's as she says, and that, I, and that the time diamond is the only thing that can save us, the power of that diamond, it sounds too great for someone like her to have it. If, no, when we find the time diamond, we have to steal it for ourselves, die laughing. 
Well, we have to double cross Madam X, even though she seems to be quite helpful. We are the ones who would be able to oppose her if she chose to use the time diamond for malicious purposes. And I don't want it to come to that. So when the time comes, we may have to fight our old bugger. Be prepared. Oh, Lord. Right, so we've got to go to the captain's quarters, which is this way. Aha! Good. I'm setting a direct course for, to Black Steeple Castle. Do you even know its coordinates? Have fun finding it without them. The ship is automatically piloted by this interface. All I have to do is select the castle as an option. I don't need to know where the castle is because the ship will take us there itself. That's a bit trusting, isn't it? I don't know if I trust that. Huh, that's pretty neat. It's standard, but you wouldn't know anything about standards now, would you? Ha! <laughs> How long will it take? We've already been on that course for a few days now, actually. It seems that when Valerie was trying to escape, she rerouted the ship in the opposite di direction. It's going to take us a few more days before we actually get there. A few more days? Yes, Mosley, days. Don't act so impatient. We'll nourish anyone. No rush anyway. You may not be, but I am looking to get off this timeline as soon as possible. That's typical of you to say. You experience how we live for one day, and suddenly you want to leave immediately. Gee, I wonder why that is. You can come too, can't you? She's a brat in this timeline as well. Yep, yep, that's true. I am uh, with you on that one, madam. Nevertheless, we must remain patient and wait for our opportunity to arise. Oh, they've all buggered off. They all vanished. I hope they haven't buggered off to another timeline and left me here. That'd be horrible. Right, so we've got a couple of weeks on the boat. That's a bit of a shame. We've got about ten episodes on the boat. I, I like cruising. I've heard it's nice. Uh, right, where the hell do we go? Is there anything to do on this boat? Is it Pokemon? I mean, there are a few species, are there not? Maybe there's some good ones. On the boat? Anything on the boat? There's grass. No, nothing on the boat. It's a shame. Um, well, how do we get over there, then? Is that a deck above us? Oh, I see. Okay, so there's nothing much top deck. Exciting music. Oh no, I thought, oh no, 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 no. Not this crap. Is there, is there a destination or something now? Am I supposed to do something? Do I go down the basement? Um, talk to, ah, do I go and talk to, to Val? That might be a thing. Yo, Val, speak. No? No speaky speaky? Um, what then? Oh, I don't have to go to a destination, one of these bloody puzzly things, do I? What the hell is, what, do, what happens next? Do we just hang around for a bit and get off the boat? Um. Hmm. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do next. It wasn't very clear, was it? They just... Aha! This is different. Amber! Have you noticed this machine before? Yes, I did. I thought it might be a way to disable those annoying lasers, but it was not. I've been looking on this monitor and there seems to be about 808 options to choose from. I'll go for 807. That's the one. 
And when I clicked on one of the options, it details something. I actually think it was a Pokemon. A Lilligant. Grass type. Yes, I know. If I remember correctly, there are only 91 known species left on the planet. Mass extinction. But this machine has the data of at least 808 Pokemon in total. It must have come from the past. And what's even weirder is this option right here, DNA recreation. I don't know what that means, but it seems it seems like this machine can recreate the DNA structure of all the Pokemon detailed here. That's so cool. A bit like Jurassic Park. That means we could technically produce any Pokemon we wanted with just the click of a button. Or can I have what I want? There's a lot of Pokemon I want. Just, I'll start with the Salamence, that'll do. Right, but the fact that the people of Renegade had this kind of tech. Yeah, it is. So I wonder if their boss has come from the past. The fact that they are able to reproduce Pokemon and nature alike is almost kind of godlike. True. It's making me really uncomfortable to think about. I don't know what it is, but I have a feeling we're in for a hell of a time at Black Steeple Castle. But for now, all we can do is wait. Huh? I wanted to get a Pokemon of my choice. Madam X. And now she's, she's, so she's taking the mantle as boss. Attention passengers of the SS Paradise. It's a strange name. We have reached our destination. Black Steeple Castle is just ahead. Those who do not wish to tread upon dangerous land should not leave this ship. Counts, counts, count for me in. Your safety is not guaranteed, nor is it prioritised or thought about. Huh. Well, Captain, those who wish to risk their lives to further our cause are more than welcome. If you are one of those brave individuals, meet us on the deck as soon as possible. We are making our way to the castle immediately. Oh, I want a Pokemon. Oh, hang on, where am I now? Did I talk to Val? Can I actually not talk to Val then? That's really disappointing. I wanted to see what she had to say. Can I do any, can I, is there any, where is this machine? It's here, isn't it? Is it here? Um. Okay. Top left, isn't it? Top right, sorry. It's up here. I'm sure it's in one of these little... Here it is. No. Well, how come Amber got it to work then? Oh, come on. Just a little bag on. No. Um, um, deck. Where was deck? Okay. So Miri is speaking to Mimikyu. Sorry Mimikyu, but I am going to have to leave you here for a little while. I will look after you. Me. I'm sorry, but I can't guarantee your safety from here on out. And you're Mosley's Pokemon, not mine. I just don't want to see you get hurt, okay? Aww, I, can I have it? Sigh. Looks like we finally docked at what's called Black Steeple Island. I hope it's the same. Is it the same? Everyone's waiting for us. Let's not make them wait long. She goes that way. Oh, where's that Mimikyu? Come here, little fella. Oh, ah, oh. I just disembarked. Keep it moving. But yeah, oh, she's taken Valerie. Isn't that Valerie? Why are you bringing her? As a hostage? Yeah, I agree. Why I? Why are we bringing me? We'll need her to get inside of Black Steeple Castle. But for now, let's proceed as planned. I reckon Madame X is going to double cross us at some point. She's inevitably going to do so. We have to walk through a small town before we reach the castle. Come with me, Valerie. All right, I guess we should follow her then. Hopefully, the castle isn't too far away. And off they go. Let me save them just in case we have a crash or something. Right. 
Um, oh, okay. So this would be a good opportunity to have some mutated Pokemon or something in the game. Like Delta Pokemon and the other one. What was all that about then? That little cutscene stuff. What was that no one answering? I see. So media says, what is this place? It's, just, it's strange to believe that there's a village in a place like this. What sort of person lives in a place like this? It's where we can take people after, oh sorry, it's where we take people after we kidnap them. Oh, well done, Val. Amber, excuse me? Our job was to find people and bring them to this island. This village goes on for miles. Same layout and all. It's like a never-ending maze. Oh, great. And you just collect humans to bring them here like they're some sort of livestock? Yeah, wasn't Madame X's plan in the original Black Steeple Castle to kill everyone to emit some sort of energy? And we never really got any further with that. You know, obviously the game wandered off into many tangents. But that was kind of the crux of that area, that episode. Episodes. I don't think about it that much. I was just doing what I was told. That means my mother is somewhere here in this village. Oh, so they didn't really throw them in the Crimson Sea then. Oh, I don't know about that one. I think she was taken to the castle for some reason. Well, what? What for? Quiet. The castle is just up ahead. Don't lag behind. There. I think this place is nice. Nicer than what I've been in, anyway. Uh, yeah. And they all wander and leave me. There's got to be some stuff. Oh. Got to be some stuff to find. Or maybe not. Any of these open? Not one. I have a little wander off screen. Uh, nobody's answering and I can't go in to the side so we'll just carry on. Okay, so Valerie announces. So what's the big deal, huh? Why'd you bring me all the way out here? There's a reason why you haven't killed me yet, so just go out with it. Stop playing the fool. You know exactly why I brought you here. In fact, You've been here before, haven't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I think she does. Open the door immediately. Why, the moment I open the door, you'll just kill me. I'd rather not give you the satisfaction. I'd rather you not have the satisfaction. Sorry. This is hopeless. I was wrong to bring you with us. If death is what you want, then so be it. <gasps> Wait! No more of this meaningless violence. Oh, you're so noble, Melia. Valerie, please, just open the door for us, then we'll let you go. Bullshit. She might be useful for someone else. Absolutely not. The moment we release her, she'll ru just run to the SS Paradise and escape, and probably take the ship with her as well, so no. Fine. Then she can enter the code while she's still... Sorry. Then she can enter the code while she's still tied up, and then follow us. Which was my original plan. Yeah, Melia. I would love to enter the code myself, but it takes fingerprints into account. Oh, very sneaky. So, if you would be so inclined, open the door. Fine. There, I opened the door. Now, come on. Let me go. I don't have anything else I could possibly do. We already decided that you're following us, and that's final. Well, I'm media. Put your foot down. And if you keep complaining, I'm going to kick you right in the gut. Oh. Fine. I'm done playing prisoner, though. I'm not going to be escorted everywhere I go. As long as she's in our sights, she's no threat to us. Don't bank on it, Exy. My mother is somewhere in the castle. I'm going to find her and knock out this stupid girl they call the princess. I wonder if the princess is going to turn out to be someone we know. That'd be cool. This is the final stretch style laughing. Let's go. Right, let's go. Things things are moving up. Ooh. Some big things going on, I think. So trees knocked over. Those look like doors. These doors blasted off. 
looks a little different. Those are the monitoring towers, school towers. Come on, through here, can we? Yeah. Okay. Looks a little dilapidated. Ah, oh, Amelia, what's this? Oops. Who is being depicted in this painting? Oh, wow. The woman depicted here is none other than Nameria. Nameria? This woman is Nameria? That's what I just said, did I not? Why is she being shown here at Black Steeple Castle? Could it be that she's... She's not the princess of the castle, no. Not at least anymore. So she was once. Wait, so Black Steeple Castle originally belonged to Nameria? Emilia, you're on the ball today. Correct, but that was a very long time ago. She lost the castle many years ago to... to Team Zen. That's why Team Zen has control over the castle in our time. Hmm, regardless, she's no longer alive. Well, not in this timeline anyway. This castle couldn't be hers, even if she were alive. She's beautiful, says Mosley. Nice painting. Kenneth, do you know anything about Mamaria? Only a small bit about her personality, but that's all. It was said that she had a very loving, caring nature. Very motherly. That makes me miss my own mother. <laughs> Hey, your mother never loved you. Damn, that's harsh. Amber, that's not necessary. But it's true. Don't miss someone who doesn't miss you. Neither your father or your mother cared about you. The only reason they even had you was to use you. They would intentionally starve you so you could persuade travellers into giving food to a poor hungry, hungry child. Desperate measures. That's funny, though. I bet you never got to see any of that food your generous people gave. Well, they must have given you something or else you'd be dead. They kept it for themselves so they could go to bed feeling full. That's when you met us, remember? You were starving. So my mum gave you all of her food. I, I remember. My mother went to bed hungry because she was already full of happiness when she saw you being fed. My mother is a little kind little too kind, in my opinion, but that's just the person she is. So screw your old mother and father. They may be your parents, but they aren't your family. You're with us from now on, you hear? You're, we're your family now. My mother is somewhere here in this castle. Wouldn't the best way to repay her for saving you that night to rescue her? Yeah, yeah. Good. So I don't want to hear, hear you cry. Let's get my mom out of here first, okay? Good plan. You're right, Amber. Sorry for being such a lame doofus. <laughs> Let's go save Mommy Tesla. She's waiting for us. Okay, off she goes. You need to work on your pep talks, Amber. Hey, it worked. It did the trick. Hey, it got the job done. See? Didn't it? That's all that really matters. Okay. So Valerie's not too happy. <laughs> that was beautiful. My mother never loved me. Yes, yes, you can tell us about that later. Let's go. So beautiful. I can't, I can't take it. <laughs> I miss my mommy. <laughs> yes, we get it. Keep moving. Madam X, tell me, what was your mother like? Oh, oh, that could be a good question. Surely you must have had one at some point. Hmm. What an insignificant question. It's almost laughable. I think we might have touched a nerve. My mother was a weak-hearted person who gave her life to protect me. So if there's anything Die Laughing and I have in common, it's that. The only difference is that your mother's sacrifice meant absolutely nothing. It all had, it's all, it'll all be the same in the end. Your sacrifice meant everything. Without her, Die Laughing wouldn't be standing. No thanks to you. That may be the case, but she only provided a temporary solution. We can argue later. For now, we must continue forth. We're close. Okey dokey. 
This is something I don't really like thinking about, but I can't help it, sometimes. Oh, is this this confession you're going to make? I wonder why, what my mother was like. I wonder if she hated me. I don't even know what she looks like. If she's even alive at this point. And if she isn't alive, I hope she's proud of me, wherever she is. Haha, I don't know if this is the same for you, but ever since Terezuma Island, I've always felt... I've always felt like Tesla was my mother, the one I didn't have. That's why. Hmm, no, there's no time to talk about things like this. We have to go. Ooh, let's save then. Because he collapses. So who do I follow? Uh, let's follow Media. Oh, I see. It just comes to the same place. Okie dokie. Oh, there's a glass cabinet there. Can you get it? No. Right, gulp of coffee. Let's move on. Ah, some big stairs. Lots of stairs. Thinking, eh? I'll have to catch breath. <sighs> Sheesh. I'm not as fit as I should be. Ooh. Oh, more stairs. Great. Uh oh, here we go. This is it. The princess resides behind this door. I wonder if it's going to turn out to be someone like... Who could it be, I wonder? Marionette from the, from the, mother, from the past? If you wish to turn back, this would be the time to do it. Bye! I don't know what's going to happen once we enter this door, but I cannot guarantee your safety. Nor do I really care to. Danger, huh? All right, let me at him. Uh, no, you're standing. You're staying out here, Mosley. Well, what? What do you mean I'm staying out here? What about all that talk about saving Tesla, huh? I just don't want. To, I just don't want you to cry in front of everyone. <laughs> Listen, if something happens to you in there, Mom would absolutely lacerate me. So do me a favor, and please just stay here. I don't mean to be rude, but you're small and weak. You'll get in the way. I must agree with Amber on this one. Let the adult settle these problems. A child should have things to do like this. Shouldn't have things to do like this. Oh, it's all, but I'm always 10 years old. I'm practically an adult. Didn't you say that 10 year olds used to take down huge criminal organizations way back then? Those 10 year olds happen to be prodigies for their time. If I call, recall correctly, you don't have a single Pokemon with you. Oh, I don't know if I can pronounce that one. Mr. Fine, I'll stay here. I'll stay here. Oh, I'll stay right here while you have all the fun of your life. I don't know if it's going to turn into being a fun event, Mosley. That's one worry out of the way. I don't know. She's wandered off on her own. Good. Let's proceed. Well, this is it. It all ends the moment we walk into this room. Does it? I don't know why, but I'm trembling. That's stupid to say. I know exactly why I'm trembling, but... Okay, this is more than me just being scared. It's as if things could go terribly wrong after this point. Making the point in goal. Oh dear. Let's be careful. Okay, die laughing. Oh, I don't like it when they have these ominous things. Let's go, let's go left ladder. That could be a choice. Mimi, what's Mimi doing here? Are they going to have a, an important role? Oh, crap. Okay, so this is where we need to be. The time diamond should be somewhere around here, correct? Yeah, where's this princess, though? Correct, it should be in this vicinity. If not, I don't have to explain to you what happens in that case. Yes, you made it abundantly clear. Amber! Uh-oh. Oh, oh it's, it's my mom. We, we've been looking for you all over for you, mom. Sniff. You've all been looking for me, but why would you do that? What do you mean? You were taken away from us and we missed you. 
I, I see. But what is that woman doing here? Oh, you mean Madame X? She's with us now. She's cool. You mean Valerie? Oh, Valerie, sorry. Don't worry about her, Mom. We already took care of her. Absolutely. We took over the SS Paradise and find our way here to rescue you. Hmm. Well, wait. Where's little Mosley? She's fine. Mosley's waiting right outside this room. Then we should leave immediately, right? Let's get out of here. Good plan. Good plan. I'm not leaving here without my time diamond. You all may leave if you wish, but I'm not leaving until I get what I came here for. Well, whatever it is you're, going to, you're looking for, get it quickly before too late. Mother, mother, who are you speaking to? Mother? Before she finds us. Ah. Melanie. Have we met a Melanie? I don't think we have, have we? We've got a Amelia, but no Melanie. Hmm. I wonder if she's someone else that we've met. Don't think so. I don't, rem I don't remember those pigtails. No, it's you. Amelia knows her. How does Amelia know her? Is it her sister? Mother, who are these dullards? That's me. Melanie, these people are no one special. Oh, if that's so, then why don't we all play together? Now, we've been told not to touch her, have we? Physical contact is not good. So I wonder why that is. I wonder if she'll turn you to gold by Midas or something. This must be the princess of the castle. I'm a pretty princess, but forget about that. Let's play. Oh, I just, I just, I just seen, I just seen Mosley creeping in hiding behind the candles. Don't play coy with me. You know exactly who we are. Now tell me, where is the time diamond? You, I know you know where it is. Oh, all right, fine. I'll cut to the chase. Ah, all I wanted to do was play with Miss Melly and the others. So how does she know? They must be connected there. Melanie and Melia. Time for another note. Somewhere else. So she's the princess of the castle, but probably connected somehow to Melia. I'm going to guess they're sisters. Okay. Miss Melly, are you talking about me? Well, of course I am, you bimbo. <laughs> I will say it's quite possible that I am in custody of this so called time diamond. You speak of. Now that I think about it, why should I hand it over to? Ha, should, well, no. Why should I hand something so valuable over to dullards like you? After all, you aren't even from the same time as me. You know about that? You aren't the brightest lass in the bunch. You now are you? I created the SS Paradise, did I not? Did you? Of course, I would add surveillance around to keep an eye on my loyal subjects. Speaking of which. The captain I hired to steer that ship has marvellously failed at every corner. Oh, that's you, Val. Come on, come now, Valerie. You're better than that, aren't you? I, I just... He balls up. You were conked on the head when you were born, eh? Or were you conked on the head when you were born? Why would you wait for the last moment to try and escape? <coughs> so why is everyone afraid of this child? Does she have special powers? I suppose that makes me equally as stupid to believe that you were capable of doing anything that required the least amount of thinking. She seems very um, eloquently um, verbose for someone of so young. I want to ask you again, the Time Diamond, where is it? Keep your head on, no need to throw a paddy for no reason. Is this what you're looking for? It could be. Ah. Look at the sparkle in your eyes. It's almost too easy. Uh-oh, Moses on the move. Sorry, love, but I refuse just to hand over something so important. Fine, then you leave me no choice. <gasps> uh -oh. oh, shit. <laughs> this trap door just opened under. What? She, she fell right through the floor. So predictable. That's the problem with you simpletons. You get a little worked up, and then you go smashing through your problems. Well, 
You can settle your problems in the cellar. Now, let's proceed, shall we? I mean business. Uh-oh. Melanie, why don't you just let us go, okay? Who needs a stupid diamond anyway? Correct. You all don't need this time diamond. Not in my world. If you two go back on your own time, what would I do without you? Specifically, you Melia. Me? You need me? Why does she need her? I didn't believe her at first, but after closer examination, I've come to the conclusion that we must be related. I was thinking the same. Somehow, no. Related? I don't think that's possible. Hmm. Whether it be brief. Whether it be blood or just some sort of connection, we're bound together by this world. Okay. I, I don't understand. What are you getting at? Well, why not take my hand and figure it out? Uh, uh don't do it. No, 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 I won't do it, good girl. Shame. Well, I guess if that's how it's going to be, then I guess that's just it. Listen, I know you're anxious to leave this time. But what exactly is waiting for you on the other side? I heard everything that happened to you through the cameras on the SS Paradise. Everything that happened between you and Vivian. You sure do know how to ruin other people's lives. Screw you, what do you know? For all we know, you're just as terrible. If you're the one who created the SS Paradise, then maybe you'll be able to answer a few questions. He he fine. I'll entertain you. What questions do you have? What's the purpose of having all that fauna around on the ship? How is that even possible? Because it was grown on the ship, you idiot. That's one easy to that's one's easy to figure out. Okay. And it was possible to grow because we have the structures of all life on Earth located in the database in that ship. So it's a bit like Noah's Ark there. Excuse me, you have the molecular structure of all life on the ship? How is that possible? Where would you even get the resource to sustain something so huge? He, <laughs> let's just say I have connections. Amber, you saw it yourself, remember? There it is. Back when you were on the SS Paradise, you went through the same machine that contained all that info. We only went through the DNA we, we had of the Pokemon, though. But we have all we need in that machine. With that machine, I believe that it will be possible to restore this world back to what it was before the Calamity. Oh, cool. So it is a Noah's Ark. It will be possible to restore the world? Even if that were true, how would we even do that? The ground is being swallowed by the Crimson Sea by the minute. Soon there will be nothing left to restore. Aha, no, the Crimson Sea has nothing, does nothing but destroy anything that falls into it. The land being crushed and destroyed is my doing, silly. You're destroying the remaining bits of land on this planet? Why would you do that? Hee <laughs> hee, well, you know what they say. First you have to break someone down to build them up even better. That's why you created the SS Paradise. Hmm. I finally get it. You created the SS Paradise to kidnap people and deliver them to Black Steeple Island. But when you heard that people kept escaping their kidnap, you decided to give them no choice. By destroying the remaining bits of land around the world, you constructed a plan that would eventually lead everyone into your grasp. If no one can live on your island, no one can live at all. Oh my. And they said media was the brains of the group. What about me? Clearly they were mistaken. Yes, Amber, that's exactly right. But, but why? Why go through so many hoops just to do all of that? It's because she wants to play the part of a princess. She wants a kingdom she can call her own. Now she wants, she wants to rule. No, she only wants to use us as dolls. She doesn't want a kingdom to care for. She wants a kingdom to dictate. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Considering the circumstances, you all need someone to tell you what to do. 
I have everything I need to make this world haba haba habitable haba ba ba ba. It's only right that I have complete control in what happens. We're not going to let you get away with this, Melanie. If we kill her right here, uh oh, then we'll be the ones to have complete control. Well, there's a lot of us. And then we'll restore this world to how it was before. And we'll all live in this world in harmony, together. Oh, a revolt, is it? Then, what of the time diamond? If I, if I shatter this hunk of rock, what would Melia and Di Laughing do then? They'll be trapped here, and I'll never have a chance to return back to their own time. All the people who they loved, never to be seen again. Just admit it, I have put you in a corner, and you can't back out of it. So just sub. Get in there, Banzai. Mosley grabbed the time diamond. Good, good. Now give it to me. Here you go, Melia. Mosley, you're a lifesaver. Mosley, we told you to wait outside. And what and look at where that got you. Exactly. Right, Melia. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, Melia, let's just get out of here quickly. And Mama Tesla is here too. I missed you lots. <laughs> this is exactly how I wanted this all to go. Thank you, Mosey, for helping me with this. Uh-oh. What are you talking about, you stupid gremlin? <laughs> In the event of failure, I've constructed a nice present for humanity's hope. What I hold before you is a detonator. A detonator? Are you deaf? Correct. And when activated, it is programmed to activate hidden explosives located on the SS Paradise. She's bluffing. But without the SS Paradise, there will be no hope for this world. It's all we have that can save everyone from the Calamity's aftermath. If the SS Paradise explodes, everything would be for nothing. Melanie, sweetie, give Mummy the detonator. It doesn't have to be like this. Oh, give it up. Oh, give it up, Tesla. I know you're not my real mother. Playing pretend only makes me happy for so long. Now I've met my limit. Now the SS Paradise can be saved, however. I want the Time Diamond back in return. She's bluffing. She won't blow up the ship. She relies on it. You're not going to get away with this. But get back that detonator and keep the di Time Diamond, no matter what the cost. Why are you giving me that look? If anything, you should be with me, not against me. Excuse me? I mean, just think about it. You say you'll get back this thing no matter what the cost. But do you all really understand what the cost really is? Say my finger slips and I accidentally destroy the SS Paradise. But Melia and I laughing successfully go back in time and fix what they've wronged. What exactly would that mean? for all of us. You'd cease to exist, would you? Going back and fixing what they did won't erase us, okay? Our timeline will live. No matter what, the damage has been done. Media and die laughing. They'll be put back on the right track and live their lives happily ever after. What the hell are you saying? I'm saying helping out Melia and die laughing won't benefit you at all. Oh, hang on a minute, she's been she's turning them against us. With the SS Paradise destroyed, they'll leave you behind in this time to rot away. Perhaps in that time, the Crimson Sea truly will engulf the land with its toxic waters. You won't even get a happy ending. You'll live in fear for the rest of your sorry little lives. <clears throat> or you can get that time diamond back for me and we'll all live happily ever after in our restored world together. Yeah, but with you as dictator. Now, doesn't that sound a little better? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You guys, don't listen to her. She's trying to pin us against each other. I've done nothing but simply state the facts. Everything else has been put together by you. Guys, don't fall for her schemes. This is exactly what she wants. Guys. Sorry, Melia. 
don't take this personally. Oh my God, they're going to gang up us. Oh, oh no. Oh shit. Don't be stupid, media. Just give me the diamond and this will be over. I won't give it up. I said to give it up. Urgh. I'll take it. Don't take another step. Die laughing. Oh God, here we go. Don't make me do something I don't want to do. Right, guys, well, I've got to go to work, so I'm going to make this decision at the start of the next episode. I suspect I'm going to be saying try to help media because staying still is kind of a bit lame. So I shall see you on the next one.